this is Kamari, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Cut Sew No. 12 pattern, the Sugar Witch pattern. Cut Sew is a indie pattern company that is based out of Florida in the United States, and they've been bursting onto the cosplay scene for some time now, and I had my eye on the patterns for a while, so I'm really excited that they offered to send me one of the patterns for review and they do both cosplay and fashion patterns and since this is a cosplay channel I decided to go with number 12 which is labeled the Sugar Witch pattern and it is based off of Charlotte from Madoka Magica. So starting with the packaging the pattern comes in a resealable plastic envelope instead of the usual paper envelope it comes in a plastic baggie which I think is really nice because most of the time when I end up storing patterns I end up putting them in plastic baggies so this saves a step and then to show you what pattern is inside it has this card that is pinned to the front of it so the front you can see it has the uh, cut sew pattern making it has the number so number 12 and then it has a illustration of the completed project and a breakdown of all the pieces that are included. So this one has the cape, the bow, a neck ruff, a jacket, and a skirt. When you flip the card over, it has a QR code to access the sizing chart, and which you just plug in your measurements into an online chart and it tells you which size you need. Then it has a list of all of the supplies you'll need for creating it that aren't uh, fabric or notions. Then underneath it has the fabric and notion chart, a suggestion of what materials to use, and then a sizing chart that's like, okay, if you're a size small, you need, uh, let's say for the cape, you need three yards of fabric. The only concern that I did have with this particular section of it is it doesn't say the width of the fabric because fabric is available in widths from anywhere from like 42 inches to 60 inches wide and I ended up getting a fabric that was a mix of various widths and I ended up with some left over. I cut this particular portion out to save it for later but when you open up the pattern it is printed on a very thick paper. It's not printed on the usual really flimsy tissue paper that you see a lot of patterns printed on. And it has all the information again. And it has all of the... To tell which size you need to cut out, it's labeled on different shades of black to gray. So for a size small, it would be a black line. And then for a size extra large, it has the lightest gray line. And then for these patterns, they don't have the sewing instructions included, so it's all digital. So you go to that particular website link and it will have all of the pattern instructions there, which I think is nice, uh, especially if you have a tendency to lose your instructions, you always have a copy of them. And you could print them out if you want a, a physical copy of them. Uh, for the cutting out the patterns and figuring out which size, I found it was really easy to follow. Uh, there's enough of a difference between the shades of black and gray that I was still able to follow which one I needed to cut out. And since these patterns are only available either online or at select conventions, I really like that they put them on nice durable paper um, because you can't just go out and get another one as quite as easily as if you were right next to a fabric store. According to the sizing chart, when I inserted my measurements, I'm a size extra large, so I just went ahead and cut out all of the pattern pieces to that size. I didn't make any mock-ups just so I could really test and see how everything came together. I definitely recommend making a mock-up if you're using this pattern, just like you would with any other pattern. So here is the basic review. Since there were so many pieces of the outfit, I'm going to break it into each of the garments. First up is the cape. I made mine out of some red stretch sateen and I was very happy. The instructions were very easy to follow. It had a very nice drape to it. The only thing that I was a little bit uh, concerned about was that the illustration for both the pattern included and the model has a cape that has kind of a sloping 
neckline to it. It just comes up at the top and then gradually goes to the back. The pattern that is actually included with this has a more angular design to it. So it comes down and then goes across at an angle instead of having that nice gradual flow to it. Next up is the bow, and as you can see, I'm wearing it right now. Uh, for the fabric, I used a keepsake calico and then dyed it red because I couldn't find any fabric that was black with red spots on it. And it held up really well. I really like this bow. Uh, when I did a photo shoot in it, it was a bit windy, and it still held its shape very well even through that. Uh, the pattern instructions asked to put uh, bobby pins in the bottom of it. I added a duckbill clip just because of personal preference, but I thought this was a really good pattern. Next up is the neck ruff. I used the same fabric that I used for the bow. I thought the construction method was easy to understand. It was also pretty cleverly designed. The only issue I had with this one was that just for the sizing on myself, when I initially made it using the half a yard of elastic that was suggested, it ended up being too small and I couldn't actually fit it over my head so I added a longer piece of elastic and then it worked just fine. For the jacket I made mine out of two shades of brown twill because the Charlotte design in the anime has sleeves that are different colored from the bodice so I just went ahead and did that when I made mine. The pattern instructions themselves, they were very easy to follow and it ended up fitting quite well around the bust. So I was very happy with this particular aspect of the pattern and the really long sleeves are really fun to play around with, but it means that it's really difficult to hold anything. For the skirt, I used pink cotton for mine. It was my first time making a one of the bubble type skirts and it was a fun project to do. The instructions were very easy to follow. The only concern is that since I made mine the suggested extra large size, it ended up being way too big around the waistband, so I had to, I ended up having to add some darts into it just so I could wear it for the photo shoot. Uh, that is something that I would have figured out had I done a mock-up beforehand, uh, which I didn't, but that is just something to keep in mind that the skirt ended up being significantly um, large on me. So before sending me the pattern, Cutso did let me know that this is a pattern that they are currently in the process of reworking. I'm sure version 2.0 will be even better than this one. The only real issues I had with it were fit, and those are things that I would have known about in advance if I had made a mock-up beforehand. So I definitely recommend this pattern. I thought it was really well done. The instructions were very easy to understand, and throughout the entire process of the instructions. They added little tidbits of uh, educational material. Uh, they explained the terms they were using, and I really, really liked it. That They definitely are gearing this pattern towards someone who is new to sewing and getting into cosplay, and it's very beginner-friendly. I love how durable the pattern itself is. The paper was very thick, and uh, they make a point of having the a uh, person who's making it, it makes a point of making sure all the edges are finished. They recommend using pinking shears for a lot of things, which is something I don't do in a whole lot of my videos, so this was my first project really using pinking shears as a finishing method. It's definitely a valid finishing method. Personally, not my favorite, but I really like that they are adding so many sewing techniques and teaching the user so many sewing techniques through these patterns. Uh, definitely a huge thank you to Cut Sew for teaming up with me and sending this pattern and letting me review it. I really, really like it. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'm very excited to see what other patterns they're going to be coming up with. And I didn't show all of the things that I made in this video. There will be a link in the description box to a playlist where I have an individual video uh, sew along video for each component of this pattern. Uh, if this was a video that you liked, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there are any other patterns you'd like to see me do a review like this for. And for more sewing tutorial videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.